Hello guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today I will be doing another tutorial for you guys. This is not one that any of you have been asking for lately, but I still wanted to do it because I thought it would be kind of fun to play around with for some of you guys if you're not aware of how to do this trick. So basically what I'll be showing you guys today is how to build houses without foundations. And that means you can also build floating houses or houses on wheels, houses on pillars, columns, for example, beach houses without the foundations as well. So you can make them more customizable, if you will. And yeah, those kinds of houses. So basically where they don't have a foundation underneath it, but they're not on the ground still. I'm not making sense right now. So basically it is a very, very simple trick. If you're starting out building and so you don't have a house done already and you want it to be, you know, raised up like I just explained before you basically just place down a, uh, a box not a stair but a box like this you copy paste it on top delete the bottom box and then you just raise it down like this so now it doesn't have a foundation underneath it and you basically yeah you just have air underneath your house and then you just shape the box so it suits uh whatever you want to build i'm just gonna move this box over here i think it might actually go on the ground now so let's just yeah i did so we're gonna just copy paste it on top and delete the bottom box again so now we have a box on top of wheels like this. I just want to make sure that it's not actually poking through. Oh, it is. So let's just raise it up once. There you go. Oh, it's still poking through. Why are you doing that? There you go. Well, now it's just really... Hmm. Let's size this down once, maybe that helps. I've not actually built a house on wheels yet, so I've not played around with this item before myself. There you go. Now it's technically on the wheels, but also not. But that's how it works basically. So you just put a box on the ground, you copy paste the box on top of the first box, and then you delete the bottom box and you have a levitating house <laughs> or a levitating box at least until you shape it into a house. So that is a very, very simple trick. And yeah, I still thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys how to do it. If you were wondering, if you didn't really know, have you seen maybe some other people do this trick, but you didn't really get an explanation what what they did or anything so this is basically just how i can't not put this underneath without come on just i want there there you go okay no, actually no i don't like that either <laughs> it kind of moves the uh the thing there we go oh no it's doing it again i want it to be underneath but i don't want it to be like it's fine there we go we can always do like this instead but i'm just <laughs> so set on just moving the box so anyways i just wanted this part of the wheels to be covered so there we have it this is a house on wheels it's technically a box, but it could be turned into a house. You could just, you know, now it's fully on wheels, which is super awesome, by the way. I like this item. I should use it sometime. I should use it for a build or something. I would probably put it because you see this very weird trim right here, which is not that pretty. I would probably choose one of the exterior trims right here. So you find that under freezes, I don't know, an exterior trims. I'd probably choose one of these and just put it on top. So it's kind of covering up this ugly edge or whatever that is. You could also use this one if you want. You can also use this one. I would say that these ones are probably a little bit too big, but yeah, I think usually I go for something like this. So one thing that is important to keep in mind when you do stuff like that, you will need to add an extra box I'm just gonna add or activate the grid like this so oh by the way if you don't know how to do that press G on your keyboard super simple I don't know what the hotkey is for console because I don't play on console but it's G on computers so but yeah you're gonna have to add this little platform area because you need a staircase going up to the house because otherwise your sims cannot get into it unless you teleport them and that gets a little bit tedious to do every time your sim has to leave the house and come back so just remember to add this little platform so that you can add a staircase going into to the house like this so yeah that is basically the first one we have a house on wheels now so you can also just i'm just gonna copy paste this there you go and then copy paste it on top delete the bottom box i think you get the swing of things now but if you want a floating house just raise it up into the air do remember though you still have to somehow add a staircase unless you don't mind teleporting your sim every time so if you want to see how my play tester sim teleports it's she teleports like every every other sim but you have to i don't remember do you yeah 
just press down. I do remember, but I don't remember if you have to have cheat codes activated to do it. Just tell shift down and click somewhere with your mouse and then, you know, she'll teleport like this. There you go. She'll just magically turn up somewhere else. That's, that's basically it. Super simple as well. But yeah, so now we have a floating house as well. If you want to turn this into a floating castle, you can do that. I would not want to do that because I don't like building castles, but it's up to you. It's fully up to you. So you have floating bugs. It would actually be kind of fun to add. Let's just, I want to see how this works. So we are on, I don't even know what floor that is. It's technically the second floor, but like it's very far up in the air, you know? So we're going to add a staircase like this. Hold on. And then we're going to, that's a very long staircase. We're going to just move it. Why did that not work? There you go. Just move it a little bit. No, 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 the other way. There you go. Like this. If you want a tutorial on how to use the configurable stairs, by the way, please let me know. I find them quite fun. I don't really use them enough, but I do know how to use them. So if you want to get my two cents on that, let me know and I'll see if I can do something about it. But that's basically... I would be scared to fall down, to be honest. I just want to add some railing. <laughs> that is really ugly. <laughs> Okay, stop laughing. Um, yeah, we now have a very dangerous floating house with a very confusing staircase going up to it. And that's completely fine because this is The Sims. So we can build stuff like that. Just going to add some extra. There you go. Now no one can... Why do they not match? No one can fall down now. And that's the most important thing. Your Sims are safe. There you go. So now we have a floating house with a very strange staircase and also a house on wheels. But if you've already built a house and like if you have a house in the library and and you've seen this video and you figured that that house would actually look kind of cool if it was floating or maybe if it was a beach house and you don't want to use the foundations because we do have these foundations right here that have stilts underneath so I'm just gonna show you what they look like in case you're not aware just put a box down <laughs> a super pretty box okay we do have these foundations that have stilts under them uh, there is another one here and we also have a third one but if you would rather use some of the colors Columns instead. So you can't change, I do want to point out that you can't change the wall height uh, or they can only like, you can't make them smaller like this. So the house will be quite far up in the air, but that is, that's just how that is. But if you would rather use the columns instead of some of the, uh, what's it called? Some of the, um, the foundations, you can also take a pre-existing house and then turn that into a floating house first. So you can place the columns underneath. Also just making sure to delete all the trees so you guys can actually see something. But basically we have to turn this house. I am going to turn it into one room instead of five or four rooms. That can count. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going to turn it into one room instead because because otherwise I'll have to move them like separately like that. And that's super, why is it pink inside of the house? That is very interesting, but yeah. So what I want to do first is just delete one wall. Make sure to have BB move objects on for this, by the way. Otherwise, once you move the house, a lot of the items in the house will actually turn up in your household inventory and you'll have to place down everything again. So just make sure to have BB move objects on, activate it before you do all this. So just delete one wall and then drag the wall over. So now you see these two are actually one room. They're considered one room. So do the rest with the other rooms in the house and also the bathroom right here. So now at least the interior is just one room so I can move the entire like this instead of just moving one room at a time. I don't know if I can do it with the exterior. Sometimes it messes up a little bit. Sometimes it works. Okay, I can do it with that patio, but what about the other one? No, that's not really working. And I don't know why. Um, I just opened the, okay. But we're gonna move that afterwards. So I'm gonna place down a box like this. I'm gonna, this is super annoying and in the way. So I'm gonna place the box a little bit further back. There we go. <laughs> then I'm gonna take this room right here, place it on top, delete this, and then just drag it down like that. And you do have to move like everything else as well because unfortunately it doesn't unless we move the entire house can we do that i don't think so i've actually not checked this so i want to check this but i don't think we can can we move this on top no that would be really helpful that that is a trick that i would agree to <laughs> But no, so I'm just gonna undo like this. Okay, so now we have the house over there. I'm just gonna move the uh, the roofing here. I'm not gonna bother with this one because that's gonna take ages. And also these ones are kind of useless right now. Make sure you move the front patio with it as well. And also if you're curious on how to activate and deactivate the grid, you basically just on computer at least, and I suppose also Mac, you just press G 
G for grid, remember that. Um, so it's a little bit annoying to look at all, all the time, I think. So I often deactivate it. But if I'm doing something like this, where I have to place something outside, it is nice to have it activated. So it actually snaps on, like the item actually snaps on to the grid, if that makes any sense. So it's on the same level, basically. So let's just raise this up into the air just a little bit uh, so you can see what I mean. So basically just take the pillars here and then I'm gonna make sure to raise this up a little bit more, place them underneath. Oh, that was, that's completely underneath. <laughs> there you go. And then just drag this down like this. So, so they don't fully line up, but that doesn't matter if you place one of the trims on the house, which still I would prefer instead of looking at this thing, like this trim. So there you go. Now you have a trailer on stilts, <laughs> but I've done beach houses like beach houses with this trick in the past before we got the foundations. You can also make tree houses like this as well if you want to. So you don't like, uh, or both tree houses like to live in, but also tree houses like play houses for kids. It's the same kind of trick. You just place a box and then that's not a box. You place a box and then copy paste the box on top of the first box and then just delete that one and then raise it up so you have a tree house. I would use one of the bigger houses for this or one of the bigger trees for this, like this one. That is pretty. And then just raise it down a little bit. And now you can turn this into a tree playhouse for your Sims kids. So that is super cool. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys exactly how to do that and maybe give you some ideas of how to play around with it. So for example, the house on wheels, the tree house, whether it's for living in or just for your Sims or the beach house as well, or the floating house that you can turn into a floating castle if you want to. I'm not going to do that, but you can if you want to. So yeah, I hope that was a little bit helpful for those of you who have been asking on some of my past videos at least, even though this was not requested, I still kind of wanted to do it for you guys so that I could uh, describe or explain exactly how to do it slowly as well and show you guys at the same time. So um, yeah, I hope it was helpful and yeah, let me know in the comments section what other tutorials you want to see from me. I do have plans to do several of them, so there'll probably be another one next week or probably not later this week, but probably next week. <laughs> and I also have some bigger ones planned for you guys as well, but let me know if there's anything else and I'll write it down in my notebook and have a look at it at some point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye! Yeah, I got me